All right, folks, what did we learn today from what happened with the meme stocks? Not only AMC, but also looking at Beth, Bad & Beyond, especially, all right? And looking at Carl, Avi's budget stock that, you know, jumped 200% yesterday. So I bring this up because we are doing a lot of, we are putting a lot of effort into doing the research, the due diligence, you know, uh, trying to uncover and discover every single thing related to catalyst or you know items that will push the price of amc in one way or another all right we look at the chart you know we look at what the hedges are doing we look at the the, the suits buying etc etc so we have this type of catalyst these type of events that we are under the impression or you know we suppose by doing our analysis and each, even by textbook like the earnings for example we believe and suspect that earnings, because we're going to blow those out of the park, can actually bring a really, really, really uh, uh, um, momentum into the stock price going higher. All right. But until it happens, you will never know. So going back now to what happened with Bed Bed & Beyond, for example, because this ran up like really, really hard these past two days, it was up more than 50% pre-market today, following Avis budget that burned lots of shorts that actually faked some covering into the other meme stocks, right? So first of all, it means and it tells us, at least me, it's my personal view, that the catalyst on the short squeeze may come from something that we're not even pricing into this situation. It may come from something that we never foresee coming. We never foresee coming. Something that we have no idea at all. I mean, who would have imagined that on a stock like Avis budget, you know, the shorts into this stock will be burned. We're not talking about the big ones. We're talking about the little, the little shorts, all right? Um, who would have ever imagined that um, after the DTCC ruling, you know, the SEC, blah, 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 and all of these big catalysts and events, you know, inflation is another thing. You know, it doesn't seem like inflation is going to be a problem anymore because today the Fed said that, hey, um, even though we reduce the amount of money we're putting into the economy, all right, um, we are not going <laughs> to in increase the rates come at least the first half of 2022 so it gives another incentive of people still buying stocks and markets going up but a couple of months ago we were betting on a market crash to actually send things to the moon because of the beta you know stock amc is but what did it do so far mm, barely nothing just to say AMC will do what it's supposed to do in due time. Now, the big question, as always, you know, pretty much every single day I say this on AMC. Just consider this as something if you're confident and comfortable with the position you already have so far. Just sit on it and move with, when I, when I say move, well, focus on stuff that can give you, you know, either money or help you to grow your knowledge and your skills into the markets if you want to be an investor or a trader or learn how to make money into the market now if you don't feel like you have a comfortable position into amc then yeah i will consider i will say continue to buy but it doesn't have to be something that will that needs to stress you out every single day so that when it drops one dollar a share or five percent or ten percent your mind is messing up with you, all right? Same thing when it goes all the way up to 5% or 10% like it did this morning, you can't focus on anything else, you know, just to say, sit on it because it will do what it's supposed to do in due time. But that due time, nobody knows. Nobody knows when that due time will come. And that's why we will keep monitoring this for you guys. But as far as I am concerned, if you ask me, I'm pretty damn bullish and even more bullish when I see some of the events unfolding here on AMC. So we're getting closer, guys. And I mean, closer can mean a couple of months, but we are way closer to this than we were in January. So um, just, just chill. <laughs>